My name is Dr. Tapper. I'm in private practice in Omaha, Nebraska. I don't wear a mask. I see over 200 patients a week. I come in close proximity with every patient that I come across. Why haven't I contracted this so-called disease? Americans make up 5% of the world population, but yet we take in 65 to 70% of the world's pharmaceutical drugs. We are one of two countries that allows pharmaceutical advertisements on the television. But yet, 80% of Americans are suffering with a chronic disease associated with poor lifestyle choices. 700,000 people will die of heart disease this year alone. Doctor, please bring yourself in order. 600,000 people will die of cancer. 300,000 people will die of obesity this year. When is enough enough? If this is truly about health, then mandate healthy living, exercise, good food choices, chiropractic, outlaw tobacco and cigarettes, processed sugars. I believe it was Thomas Jefferson who stated, if people let the government decide what foods they eat and what medicines they take, their bodies will soon be in a sorry state as those souls who live under tyranny. You see, God made your body self-healing, self-regulating. If you give the body what it needs, it can be healthy. It is like the wilted plant that sits under the sun. An allopathic model to that is to, to shield the sun, to protect that plant against the sun, cut off its leaves, medicate or vaccinate that plant. But an epigenetic, an epigenetic approach, a wellness approach, is to give that plant water, and it can be well. You see, your body is no different. We must eat well, move well, think well, and we can be well. In other words, your level of health is the genetic expression of your lifestyle choices. And I know full well that your body's ability to heal itself, to overcome disease and circumstances like corona, is far greater than anyone has ever permitted you to believe. Benjamin Rush, a signer of the Declaration of Independence, stated, unless we put medical freedom into the Constitution, a time will come when medicine will organize into an undercover dictatorship to restrict the art of healing to one class of men and deny equal privileges to others. That time is now. These masks have absolutely nothing to do with health, but everything to do with the complying with a, fall, a false flag, tyrannical agenda. If we sacrifice our precious freedoms for temporary security, we will lose both. If you can't comprehend that statement, if you are blind to this agenda, then I am sorry. You have the eyesight of an eagle, but the vision of a clam.